So here again, two seconds later, but in another video. Um, so we've got the V-ship. Uh, looks like the starter, folder, yeah, wave skewing. Uh, yeah, it's a wave. It's, it's a wave skew basically. Uh, so if we if we go through that again, this is another another design by uh, by my good friend uh, Jörg, who uh, from his uh, from his cave in the uh, in the Grand Canyon, um, and uh, with this one, it's it's two modules. It's two modules in in one. Um, we have the uh, the basic shape function first, which I'll bring the levels up as well, and so that you, you can hear it as well as see it on the scope. So if I just bring that up, we'll see that we have a uh, we, we have what it what's um, starting as a as a, as a sawtooth wave, but you, you'll see that it doesn't have the um, it doesn't have the very sharp leading edge on it. But um, when we take the shape. You see that it actually skews it through a triangle. Now it'll it'll do this with um, with other with other waveforms, sine triangles, thing, things like that are uh, very good. But it, it'll give a it'll give a PWM type effect. So if I, I'll just I'll bring it up an octave. You can just you can just hear it. You can hear the, the harmonic difference in the uh, in the waveforms go through. So it's nice with a triangle though, because you hit a softer rounder point in the middle, as opposed to a sort a square or a pulse that is always rich through the whole pulse. Yeah, yeah. So you can, and I mean, this can obviously be voltage controlled through the um, the shape CV um, there. So we can we can voltage control the uh, the shape the shape of the waveform. So that's the uh, that's the first half of the module, and then that the second half is a um, is a is a distortion and wave folding module. And you can see that we have um, the output of the shape is uh, is normal through to the uh, the input of the of the distortion. So if we start, and I take it they can be used separately as well, or you can normal through yeah, in series. It's completely completely separately. So that can be uh, you can use that as one module, and the and you can use the second part as a separate distortion module. Yeah. So, but for the purposes here, we're uh, we're combining them, um, and the uh, and the distortion is downstream of the um, of the wave of the wave twister. So here you can see we've got a um, a soft a soft clip, which we've got a we we can set our uh, we can set our threshold level um, to start with on that, and and just do a nice soft clip onto. Uh, And then we have a hard clip as well. So there's our there's our hard clip. And then the other thing that that'll do we have um, if we put it back to soft clip we have a, uh, a wave fold on it as well. So there's the uh, there's the wave fold. And that must get really interesting with these skewed waves. So you've got two. I mean, you've got two voltage control possibilities there. You've you've got the the shape, which is that one, and then you have the actual fold itself. Making the Batman ears waveform. <laughs> that's that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. It's yeah. Um, so yeah, that's more or less it. Um, as I say, two uh, two modules in one: a wave twister and a um, and a distortion wave folder. So again, same kind of questions: rough availability, price, um, availability. Again, um, it's the it's a, it's a module a, a couple a mod of months. A module a couple of months, yeah. And uh, and price-wise, uh, we expect that to be around the the same price as our our mini mod uh, VCF. So we're looking at sort of one nine five GB. Okay. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right. Thanks ever so much, and have a great super booth. Yeah, you too.